Hi everyone, welcome to Pop Paul's Workshop. I am so excited today. My son got me a surprise gift. It is this Porter Cable Brad Nailer. It's an 18 gauge Brad Nailer. I can't wait to try it out. Let's get started. I took a look at one of the big box stores that carried this um, stapler in stock and it was $159. So guys, by wandering the aisles at your local big box stores and checking out the clearance aisles, you might find a real bargain. This one you can't hardly beat. When I looked at the box, it says up here the 20 volt max lithium bare 18 gauge narrow crown stapler. Now the interesting thing about it is, this stapler comes with the stapler and that's it. There's no battery and there's no charger. But the good thing is, I have a set of the Porta Cable Drill and Impact Driver with the 20 volt lithium battery. So I'm going to take that off. Yeah, I'm hoping it will fit. Okay, with the battery we'll plug this in. Hey, that fits perfect. So now I've got two batteries and my charger already on the wall and I've got a new Brad Naylor. Let's see how it works. I actually like this gun a lot. Underneath here, I'm going to try to get the angle in the camera, you have a little switch that you can turn it on and it locks the trigger so it will not accidentally fire. Of course, you also have the safety here that prevents it from firing until that is actually pushed down. Over here, you've got a little knob that you can dial down to be able to show how deep your staple is going to go. And if you do get a jam in here, you have this little lever right here that will actually help release the... Uh, jam staple and of course if you have to you can take off these two sc screws and gain access to this area the other thing that i like is it says right here no oil so unlike all the other guns that i have that run with an air compressor i got to put oil in it every day with this one i do not I think this is going to be a really nice addition to the shop. I can get away from the cord and go cordless on the Brad Naylor. The staples that this use is just a 18 gauge staple and it actually ranges from a half inch to an inch and a quarter. This is a one inch staple. Unfortunately, it's the only thing that I have. So we're going to use that. So I'm going to put that in and go ahead and close that up. What I'm doing is making some just real quick little light holders and light stands that I'm going to be using. So this is just a little spacer block that I'm going to use to be able to keep my block in the center. We're going to put that underneath there. Okay, and with that in place... There we go. That's going to work good. Let's get the next one set up. All I'm doing is just using this as a little spacer. Putting it where I want. That way I don't have to measure each one of them. That will go right there. And I can get the spacer out of the way. That's two. And I've got one left. There we go. I 
I don't know if you can see that, but that recessed the staple very nice. That's going to work good. Let's try it out with the lights. This simple little stand is going to make it where I can put these lights wherever I want to position them to add light to be able to should make the videos look better. So this is what I've been doing. And now, by adding the light to it, it's going to be able to show a lot more of the detail and hopefully be a crisper, sharper video that you guys can be able to see. So for two minutes worth of work, I made a quick little stand using my new Brad Naylor. I love it. I think a little extra light is going to add a nice touch to the video. So hopefully this will help to improve them. So again, real simple little stand. Great new nailer. Real excited to have it. Nothing like having an early Christmas gift. Positioning the lights where I need them without adding anything else, I think creates a nice effect. and makes it where you can see the nailer a lot clearer. So I'm excited. Hi everyone. Thank you for watching my video today. If you like the video, please go ahead and hit the subscribe button down below and the little bell next to it so you'll be notified on the different videos that I upload. Also check out the videos over here to be able to stay up to date on the happenings in my shop. So again, thank you for watching my videos.